the group urged government to do extensive research before approving or disapproving phosphate mining. Its spokesperson says if the government grants permission without research, the livelihood of 15,000 people in the industry will be at risk. Any decision made on whether to go ahead or not without government undertaking good research is like gambling with our jobs. And if it goes wrong, the foreign companies can walk away, but we will be left without jobs. Two companies have carried out studies to determine the impact of phosphate mining on marine life. But Deacon Chawola claims that the scientists who carried out research so far have been paid by the companies, saying their results cannot be trusted. The group wants the government to engage independent and internationally recognized scientists to determine if phosphate mining will have a negative impact on fisheries. A petition was handed over to the special advisor of the Rongo governor, Antelit Kanjala. Two weeks ago, fisheries minister Bernard Esau said government is not against phosphate mining, but the ministry as the competent authority in accordance with the Marine Resources Act must be allowed to comment on the research carried out.